everybody. Welcome back. We're going to shop Albertsons. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this video. I've got the zoom right here. I've got it large on my screen. Uh, I thought maybe it'd make it easier for you guys to see it if you're going to be watching this. Okay, so on the first page, uh, they've got beef on sale, New York steak, $6.99 a pound. Um, probably a decent price uh, considering that beef is skyrocketing right now. Um, something else that's up right now, they've got the organic red or green grapes, limit two, $2.99 each. That's those two pound packages. And we actually enjoy them, and at that price, that's not terrible. And then again, berries this time of year are on sale, three for six dollars. Fresh boneless skinless chicken breasts are $1.99 a pound. It's not a terrible price. If you're hitting the deli, they've got the chicken tenders, $6.99 a pound. That's a dollar off what it usually is in our area. Uh, pork loin center cut chops are $2.99 a pound. Honestly, I'm going to hold off. I'm not even so in for our household. I'm not even going to touch the pork chops, the beef, or the chicken because I had already uh, stocked up when they were at uh, less than $2 or less than $1 a pound. So, I mean, you can beat that if you have patience and if you if it's not something you need in your freezer right now, trust me, you can beat those prices. Uh, Mandarin oranges, two pound bag, $2.98. Uh, probably a reasonable price considering right now. Um, so, probably not a terrible price. Uh, let's see, some cheese here. They've got the Sargento shredded or sliced cheese, seven to eight ounces and five to eight ounce varieties for $1.99. Honestly, it's not a terrible price, so definitely consider shopping around, but it's not a bad price. If you guys enjoy cereal, they've got uh, General Mills and uh, just a, a variety of cereal for $1.69 each, only if you buy three or more. Um, so back when my family ate cereal, we would hit sales like that because it was a decent price. Tillamook ice cream is $2.99 with a limit of two, which is not a uh, terrible price. I think ice cream is easily hitting uh, for one of those one and a half quarts. I think we're sitting at about close to four and a half, five dollars easily in our area. So two ninety nine, not terrible. If you're a chips kind of person, they've got uh, chips on sale a dollar ninety nine each for select varieties. When you buy three, uh, then in toilet paper goods and paper goods. Again, if you buy two, they've got some deals there. But honestly, you can beat that if you go to Walmart or some other stores. I can't tell you if that's a good deal on candy because we just don't buy it and. I'm just going to skip over soda and alcohol because we don't drink it, so I can't really tell you if it's a good deal or not. Let's go to the next page. Okay. Um, so a lot of this stuff, I'm sorry, we just don't use in my home, so I just have no, no opinion one way or the other. So like when it comes to the soda or like these cookies and stuff, I have no idea if that's a good price or not. I'm sorry. Um, now, I will tell you on the Nally Chili Beans, you guys, I just stocked up on some of those for like less than a dollar a can. And so two of them for $7. Okay, those are 40 ounce cans, but still for two for seven, that's a ridiculous price. Um, if you can save your time, you don't need chili right now. Trust me, it, it, this, this is just an overrated price. Um, I've never used these Progresso soups. Buy one, get one free. Maybe it's a new thing. I don't know. Uh, the Zesta Saltine Crackers, two for five. I'm pretty sure you can go across to uh, Walmart or down the road, whatever it is for you, and beat that price. But hey, maybe that's a good price on crackers. Two for four dollars on the uh, Bumblebee Solid Albacore Tuna. Yeah, you are totally able to beat that price. Walmart, Winco, you name it, you are going to beat that price. That is not even, a, it's not even a sale. Come on, Albertsons. Um, Quaker Simple Granola, two for eight. That, it might be a good deal. Um, I, again, we don't use this stuff, I'm sorry. Um, but it, it might be two for eight on chips. I know for a fact you can beat that because I've seen the aisles that have it advertised. You can beat that at Winco and Walmart. Um, okay, keep going here. Soda, I can't help you with. Uh, tea stuff and Clamato and everything. Maybe that's a good price at $3.99. Here, let's hit the, uh, the ranch and Caesar and stuff. You've, it, so this is the Ken's variety for $3.99 for 24 ounces. You guys go buy the store variety. You're gonna save some. Uh, say, you're gonna save some big time dollars. Um, okay, heavy duty foils over here is $3.29, 50 or 75 square feet. That's reasonable. Hit your dollar store though. You might find it for way cheaper at the dollar store, or which might be the dollar fifty store now. Parchment paper $2.99. You can beat that elsewhere usually. Okay, here we go. Um, 
Select marshmallow varieties. Now this is a really good price because marshmallows I noticed in the last six, eight months, somewhere in there, have really shot up in, in, in price. So 10 for 10, um, that's a good price on marshmallows. And honestly, you guys, because um, Christmas is coming and we all know Rice Krispie treats and things like that are, you know, what everybody's gonna be wanting. I actually stock up on it because I do make those treats for certain family and it's a quick, easy, <laughs> take it with you type thing when you're going to parties. So if you're looking to stock up before the holiday shopping gets really crazy, consider that the, the marshmallows for a dollar. Okay, keep going here. Steven's fry sauce, buy one, get one free. I don't know what the original price is on that, but if you need some fry sauce, go check out the uh, price on a cheap bottle of ketchup, some mayonnaise, and uh, like some mustard and some relish, and boom, you've got yourself some fry sauce. Okay, uh, string cheese, $5.99 a pound. You can totally go to Walmart, Winco, and beat that price. Dryer's ice cream, two for six. That's not terrible, considering, like I said earlier, ice cream is easily four to five dollars for that same size. Um, Oscar Mayer lunch meat sub kit, seven ninety nine. Um, if it was me, I would pass on that and just price some of the uh, store brand, and usually it's cheaper. Bar S smoked sausage and meat franks, five ninety nine for two and a half to three pounds. Uh, that's another thing that's just skyrocketing in price lately. So shop around, you might be able to beat it, or maybe you can like seriously just kick it out of the water and beat the heck out of it, or maybe that's a good price. We don't really do hot dogs, so I can't help you there. Uh, unless I'm camping and I'm cooking that sucker over a campfire, I really don't want a hot dog. Um, I don't know anything about this natural food stuff, sorry. Uh, okay, premium lunch meat. Okay, see, so look here, you guys, $1.99, but it's only eight ounces, so you can really beat that somewhere else. But, so $1.99 for eight ounces. This Oscar Mayer lunch kit above it, which was 28. You could get four packages of this, spend a penny more and get more than you're gonna get in this kit here. You can get 32 ounces or you can get 28 ounces. So do the math. Like I said, you, you just gotta shop around. Um, this deal right here for the uh, the vegetables, it looks like they're steamables in the bags or something like that. You can totally beat that price. You can do better than $1.50 a bag. Okay, now yeah, true, yes, I'm watching those prices absolutely climb like crazy also, but I I think you can beat them. I don't know anything about almond milk, so maybe $2 or a two for six is a good price. I don't know. Nesquik, two for three. Yeah, no, you can beat that. Pizza, $7.99. No. You can do store brand for a lot less than that usually. Uh, Hormel premium black label bacon, 20 to 24 ounces. Check the price of the other bacon. They've got this one listed at $10.99 and it's special black label. Um, honestly, come on, you guys, shop around. It's probably beatable. Okay, now we got the uh, the salami or pepperoni. Okay, these packages are only six to seven ounces and I don't have mine in front of me. And these, these ones here are $3.49 if you buy two or more. You guys, check out your Albertsons. It's, they, they, my Albertsons puts it in weird places. And I don't know how big the bag is. And it is a weird mixed bag. Like there's regular slices in it and then there's some chunks and ends and pieces, but it's pepperoni and it's a huge bag. Um, and I only pay $5 for it. So I am not gonna go spend my money on this little six or seven ounce bag of pepperoni when I get one that's just, it, I wish I had it in here, but I'm in my, I'm in my office. Why do I need pepperoni in my office? <laughs> but it, um, they have a large, large bag. I mean, hey, maybe that works. Maybe that's what you need, but uh, you can totally beat this price. Okay, general merchandise. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just not the person that's gonna know much about any of this. Um, I do know that the candy bars, I keep being told this is a heck of a deal. 49 cents for select Hershey's brand when you buy 10. And considering they're like, they, uh, I think they start at like 79 cents for some of them and or a dollar more and more. So yeah, those ones, that's a good price, I guess. I have no clue on this uh, Betty Crocker, Wilton Bakery decorating stuff. I, I have no idea. And that's the bottom of that page. Let's go up and we're gonna go to the next page. All right, small change, big savings. Let's see what they're gonna try to save us money on this week. Okay, they've got French roast coffee, Pete's coffee, and applesauce, treetop applesauce for $5. 
Yeah, I can go to Walmart or Winco and beat those prices. Idaho potatoes, chunk light tuna, chicken creations, a dollar. You know, honestly, that's not a really bad price. If I was stocking up, that's something I would consider possibly putting my money on. Now, I will say, like, the chunk light tuna and the chicken creations and stuff like that, or even, honestly, the, the potatoes, that's easy stuff that you can buy and put away. Just remember to check your dates. Um, it, it works as backpacking food, camping food, or emergency food. And for that price, it's not terrible. But let me be real for you with, with you for a second. That's a dollar a bag for that tuna or that chicken stuff. I would go to the canned aisle and look at how much the prices are on the canned items. And honestly, you can usually totally beat that price on canned goods, which are going to last even longer than the stuff that's in the bag. So, you know, double check that. Okay, so remember I said you can save money on pizza. Here you go, there's $2.50. Um, Tony's and Red Baron, $2.50. And uh, egg, so, no, not egg rolls. What, uh, spring roll, not, anyway, something pagoda. Okay, keep going. Okay, so dark chocolate fudge and chewy fudge from Duncan Hines is a dollar a box. That is a really good deal right now. Um, when I go down the baking aisle and I look at the prices, those things are just blowing out of proportion in price. And honestly, like I said earlier, the holidays are coming. So if you're thinking ahead to gift giving around Christmas time, for a dollar you can make something, toss in a couple eggs and some uh, oil and water, and you've got Christmas goodies, <laughs> you know, for next to nothing. Okay, so you've got traditional beans, manwich, and chopped olives for a dollar a can. That one, it's getting hard to beat nowadays. Yeah, you can probably beat it, especially if you go with the off-brand ones. I don't know anything about man which stuff. Sorry, I have no clue. I just make mine from scratch when I do that. Olives, uh, um, I for a small can like that, forget it. I'm just gonna get the big can and it's gonna cost me less money. And for the baked beans, or no, not baked beans, uh, refried beans, honestly, I can go usually get a different brand for a lot less. Okay, next is uh, two dollars will get you frozen stuff. Frozen meals, Hot Pockets, something. Maybe that's a good deal, I don't know. I think so, I think when we've walked down the frozen aisle, I think that was a good, I don't know, sorry, I have no idea. Okay, 75 cents will get you yogurt from Chobani or taco seasoning. Okay, you guys, Winco, 34 cent taco seasoning. And Albertsons usually has yogurt. Now it's not Chobani, but uh, or Chobani, Chobani, however you say it. Um, you can usually get yogurt when it's on sale for 33 cents each. So it's 75 cents, unless I really, really insist on having that brand, I'll save my money and get something else. Okay, next is the Bertoli. Looks like um, sauce. Uh, and I see circus animals and I see cookies for $2.50. Now, just a few weeks ago, I was able to get pasta sauce for less than a dollar a can. So guess what? I'm not even going to touch it at $2.50. Forget it. Uh, let's go down here. Whoops. Move that. Ranch style beans or Van Camp's pork and beans, a dollar a can. You can easily go to Walmart or Winco and totally beat that price. Uh, these drinks right here, the ice drinks, I love those things, and 75 cents is not a bad price. So that's something I will be tossing in my cart. I love those. And by the way, you guys, if you use, uh, okay, let me move my mouse. So this one here, the 75 cent one, move my mouse away so you can see it. You see that one on the side, on the right, the, the tall skinny one? You guys, so take some ice cubes, put it in a glass, pour a little bit of uh, heavy whipping cream in the glass, then pour some of that in the glass, leave yourself a little bit, and then drizzle some more heavy whipping cream on top. Put in a stir stick or a straw and spin it. Oh my gosh, I love that drink. It's my favorite. Well, one of, yeah. Anyway, it's good, try it. Okay, cheesecake stuff or Reese's some things for $2. I don't even spend my money on that stuff, so I have no idea if that's good. Uh, alkaline water, maybe, and body armor, and it looks like couscous for $1.25. Um, I don't know anything about the alkaline water or the couscous, but I do know body armor, that's not a terrible price. It's not the greatest price, but prices are going up, and I know that's not terrible. <laughs> um, 75 cents over on the left will get you fake noodles full of cancer-causing agents. We don't spend money on that. <laughs> and uh, Wired Energy Drink or Freddy's or T Teddy's something. Anyway, I, we don't spend... 
I don't know. It's up to you. Is it a good price? I don't know. Next is two fifty. The cinnamon rolls, down a little smoothies, or uh, Activia yogurt. I have no idea. <laughs> I was just, I'm looking. I'm like, okay, how much does it cost me to make cinnamon rolls at home from scratch? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't buy this stuff. Next is wheat thins or honey made graham crackers, three fifty. I know for a fact you can totally beat that. Again, Walmart Winco shouting you out. Your store brand is way less than three fifty, and I go camping enough to do the graham crackers to know that it's less than that. So, three fifty, no Albertsons. You're not getting my money. Um, now dollar fifty Hormel chili or Stag chili. You guys seriously go? Okay, let me. I'm gonna have to show you guys a trick one of these days on how to. You're overpaying on chili. Um, that would not even come home with me. I look at that price and I'm like, nope. Next three fifty, you've got. Hey, they come in a can. Wait, what? Sorry, I love those ice drinks. I see sparkling ice in a can. Oh my gosh. I've never I don't shop enough. I go to the store and I want out as soon as I step in the door. And then something a Waterloo 350. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that out. I have no idea if that's a good price, but now I really am curious. I need to figure that out. Okay, next over, it looks like frozen food. We've got pizza, pizza, and pizza, six dollars. No, we can beat that. We just saw that. So those, uh, unless you're really big on DiGiorno or a California something or other, save your money. Uh, paper products, $2. No, I'll go to the dollar store. Um, then on the dollar, you've got uh, Fiesta sides. I see some like Spanish rice. I see party pizza and pizza rolls. I would consider the rice. I know it's in a bag. But I could double bag it and I could put it in my food safe buckets. And I would consider it as like an emergency food. So the other two I wouldn't. Um, and then 250 here on the left, gluten-free noodles and some cheese. Yeah, I think we saw where we could beat that price on cheese. So unless you really want Tillamook right now, and unless the price per ounce is cheaper, I'll go with the cheaper option on the other cheese that we saw earlier. A dollar twenty-five for Kleenex, Kleenex or something, toilet paper. I don't know. Soap. Go to the dollar store. It's going to be cheaper. Six dollars for Arm and Hammer wash stuff. I don't use Arm & Hammer, but I do know when I shop for my detergent, bleh, detergents, I have better pricing than that. And then the little bites, I can't help you. I have no idea. Oh boy, now we have alcohol. Sorry, I can't help you there, guys. Um, let's see. If I go like this. Okay, perfect. Now, I will say they've got the uh, Progresso Soup on sale again. 88 cents a can if you buy eight. And guess what? So this says digital use only or digital only use daily. So you have to have the Albertsons app. You have to download that to your phone. If you don't have it, you're not getting this. I'm sorry, that's just the way Albertsons works. Um, pretty painless though to download that app. So you download it, you have to scan it into your thing, put it in your cart, and then you'll get the 88 cents a can. And use daily means every single day they have the sale, you can use that to go buy those. You can't do one transaction followed up by the, another the same day. You can't go back the same day. It's, it marks it. You, you can only use it once a day. But we do, I like to have this stuff in my pantry. So that one I use. 99 cents for the corn chips or the, the pretzel sticks. Um, it says it's 11 ounces on the chips and eight Let's see, 8.75 to 16 ounces on the pretzels. Honestly, okay, so the holidays are coming and I do a lot of stuff with pretzels for the holidays. And I know if I keep it in a cool, dry place, out of the sun, anything like that, I will keep pretzels. So that is actually a fantastic deal. I can get four of them for 99 cents. That is something I would stock up on now at 99 cents a bag versus when they jack the price up to double, triple, and more at the holidays. And I can have it stocked up so that I can have it ready when I'm ready to make my holiday stuff. Um, oh, and then those corn chips. That's a good... Uh, I need to see how big the other bags are, but I think that's a good price. Uh, $3.49 a pound for fresh ground um, burger. I can go to uh, Walmart and get it at less than $2 a pound. And I can't remember what it is at Winco, but I can beat that price. And then $7.99 a pound for uh, 
13 to 15 count raw or 26 to 30 count cooked shrimp and you get a limit of eight pounds it, that honestly it's not a terrible price because again shrimp have been climbing in price so sometimes I can I think I can still beat that maybe at Walmart I don't remember at Winco but it's within reason that if I was at Albertsons and I didn't want to have to go to another store I would just get it at that price so at $7.99 a pound and they usually I think if this is the bags I'm thinking of don't quote me but if this is the ones I'm thinking of they come in two pound bags I, I think and so you'll see that price and be like no no it's 15 or something well, it's because it's per pound. So um, I know I looked at it one time and I was like, what? So, you know, it didn't make sense the first time I looked at it. Okay, so I love this butter. I love Dairy Gold and I love Farmer's Reserve. I actually had, not an argument, but my husband and I had a discussion the other day. Um, he was getting butter out and I use different butters in different dishes because I, I cannot, I just can't afford the really good Kerrygold or whatever it is butter. It's so expensive. Um, so I just buy what's on sale. Um, but butter has different tastes depending on who's making it. And so we ended up in a discussion the other day that butter doesn't taste different versus, or my opinion is it does. And I was like, well, you stick a piece of each one of those in your mouth and tell me one doesn't taste better. And I'm here to tell you these two right here, so, so good. So for $5 and I can get two of them, I can get two pounds. I totally throw that in my cart. They go home with me. Okay, so look, here we go. Remember earlier we saw pork chops for, what was it? I don't remember how much it was a pound. Is it the beginning? Look at here, $1.49 a pound for pork loin assorted chops, limit three packages. They come in family packs. Guess what? Even if you're not in a family, you can buy the pack, take it home, put it, you know, break it down, and you've got many packages you can stick in your freezer. Or I'll tell you guys a, a, a trick here. Cook it until it's pretty much done after you've marinated it. I like to marinate mine for about three days. Um, I'd have them cut it. So cut your pork chops into strips to get it off the bone. Save the bone for uh, roasting and then um, bone broth. But anyway, take the meat, strip it into strips, uh, marinate it for two to three days in something of your choice, just something that's delicious to you. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and then I cook it um, until it's pretty much done. And then it goes onto my dehydrator for about 12 to 24 hours. And I'll tell you what, pork jerky, it's right there where it's at. It's pretty tasty. Uh, granulated sugar, $1.79 for four pound bags, limit of two. Absolutely get it, get it, get it. The prices on sugar is just, oh, it's going through the roof. It's crazy. Okie dokie, here we go. I need to take the zoom off just a little bit. There we go. Um, New York strip steak back here, eight ninety nine a pound. It's supposed to be going up to close to thirteen or fifteen dollars a pound. So, if you can afford it, you might consider getting it. Pork shoulder blade roast, two ninety nine a pound. Ugh, that's a good price. But I'm saying, ugh, because just a couple months ago I could get it for less than two dollars a pound on sale. So it's just terrible where we're going in pricing. Fuji apples. You guys check your local farm markets. You can get apples for cheaper that are better locally grown. Um, let's see, yellow, red, or orange bell peppers, two for three dollars. I want to say I can beat that at Walmart and Winco. But then again, I also shop for the cheapest one, which is usually the green one. Okay, you've got more beef here, $6.99 a pound. It's not terrible, but for a roast, I'll go get the pork roast and save some money. Here we go, we've got... Uh, beef. Ground, okay, ground beef. Sorry, the picture. I'm looking at this picture and I'm like, what am I? <laughs> I think that's their excuse of meatloaf. Um, anyway, we've got ground beef, 73% to 27%. At $3.99 a pound, I can go to Walmart and Winco and beat that price. Boneless pork chops, sirloin, $2.99 a pound. No, thank you. I'll stick with the family pack and save my money. Okay, Signature Farms, Idaho potatoes, five pound bag, $1.69. That's a decent price. Uh, salad in a bag, two for six dollars. It seems like that's probably a good price considering I just keep seeing those prices going up and up and up. Carving pumpkins, 39 cents a pound. You guys, if you have Winco, check it out. It's 40, it's uh, 19 cents a pound at Winco. 
Or at least it was last time I was there. Um, let's see. Thin. Okay, y'all, if you are if you shop Albertsons and it says thin cut, by the way, by the time you got done cooking it, it's like paper thin. I rarely mess with anything that's thin cut at Albertsons. I think it's a joke. Um, and at this one, it does the buy one, get one free. I have ranted about this before. Anything at Albertsons that says buy one, get one free, I usually will not even bother to look at it. Because, okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you something here. On this beef, buy one, get one free. Regular retail price is $9.99 a pound. It's not terribly priced, but for something that is ridiculously thin cut, why in the world am I gonna overpay? I mean, trust me, you're, pay you're not getting that second package free. You're not even getting that second package half off. Here we got the boneless, skinless chicken breast. $8.99 a pound, you guys. We just saw earlier in this where there's the other option that was way cheaper. Why would you pay two to three times the amount or more to get one that's supposedly free when you have more than paid for both of them? A friend of mine who used to work for um, the local stores is the one that showed me this. She's like, no, no, check out the price per pound. She goes, you are so overpaying. And she's so right. Um, and then here was pork tenderloin tip, $7.99 a pound. No, no, no. Just, just don't look. You can get the where was that? Like, go 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 get a shoulder roast, two ninety nine a pound. Yeah, it's got a bone in it. Pick around it. Save your money. Um, five dollars for a box of something organic, green leafy stuff. Uh, Walmart is it still three something a box there? I don't know. I think it's well. I think they have options. Anyway, it might be a good price. Apples, go check locally. Organic grapes for 11 ounces, $3.49. He, you better really need some grape tomatoes. Yikes, those are, they're organic though. But anyway, that's a bit spendy. Fresh Atlantic salmon filet, $8.99 a pound. No, I, I'll go buy the frozen box bag something. It's cheaper. Uh, waterfront bistro shrimp, $7.99 a pound. So it's pretty much doing exactly what we saw with the other shrimp. Not a terrible price. Scallops, $9.99 a pound. Um, I think that's reasonable. Then they've got their fruit bowls and stuff like that, three for 12. On the fruit ones, it's not a terrible price. It puts it at $4 a bowl. Um, it's not terribly priced. Now, I don't really bother with these, you see these like dessert, um, uh, snack thingies. I don't really mess with those. But, I mean, if you need to entertain or you want something in the fridge that's good for you, then there you go. Stew vegetable pack, $5.99. Trying to... Uh, well, considering what the price per pound is on a lot of other stuff, you probably you might be able to beat it. So, maybe. Okay, in the deli department. Okay, can I just tell you guys something terrible? I rarely defend... Uh, can't talk. I rarely go to the deli for much because... I don't know why, I really don't, but I think deli stuff tastes disgusting. Um, I don't know if it's all because it's all in that glass case and all the smells are mixing and everything's combined, I don't know. It's, I think it's gross and so I just, oh, it just, blah, no thank you. So I have no idea, um, I, ugh, I don't know, <laughs> I just, ugh, I don't know, I can't, no. Um, I cannot help you when it comes to the bakery. I avoid the bakery and flowers. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next page. Okie dokie, we got stuff coming up for Halloween. Let's see. Ooh, a trick or treat bu uh, bouquet, twelve ninety nine. Mm, it's a little overpriced considering what I've seen of their other stuff. Nine ninety nine for a veggie tray. Eh. Gosh, I just, I think, I, 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 it might be a good price. I think I remember over the summer when they were $6.99, though. Uh, here we got a savings, buy four, save $2 on the Halloween candy. So, whatever the regular price is. Uh, cupcakes, $6.99 for 12 Y'all, oh my gosh, no, 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 go make your own. You're going to save some money, and it'll, it'll be healthier than all the junk that's in those. Okay, Open Nature Wild Caught Sockeye Salmon, $14.99 a pound. Previously frozen. No, no, no. I can beat that in the other ones. So, no. Let's see. Over here, there's more candy. You get a uh, big old bag for $30. Bucks. No, I don't think so. 
Uh, party tray. Okay, that's different. <laughs> it looks like it's... Okay, hold on. We gotta check this out. What is this? Uh... Okay, I see little sausages. I And I see, I think, meatballs? Oh, $17.99. You can probably go down the frozen aisle, though, and get, um... Store brand stuff and make your own party tray of that for less money than you're going to spend on this party tray. And I think you'll end up with more. There's 32 ounces in that tray right here. So yeah, you can probably save money just by going and getting your own. Macaroni salad tubs, $5.99 for three pounds. Uh, macaroni and potato salad. Uh, that might be a good deal. I don't know. They're $5.99 each. Did I say, I don't know. Did I say per pound? I meant each. Uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast that's organic. $8.09 a pound. And y'all, it's air chilled. Come on, it's special stuff. <laughs> I don't know. It seems a bit expensive to me. Another big old bag of candy, $23.99. I will save my money. Look, they are really pushing the apples right now. I'm telling you guys, go get it locally. You're going to have some other stores with better deals. Um, jelly trays, $14.99. You can, so remember they had the cheese on sale and they had the lunch meat on sale and everybody knows you can go buy a bag of rolls or a bag of tortilla, uh, tortilla shells for next to nothing still. Make your own for less money. Boom. You can make it how you want it and you're not spending $15 that it's going to taste like yuck. Uh, bean dip party tray, $12.99. Okay. You guys. The, so sour cream you can usually get for about a dollar a tub. You only need one tub for that. Salsa you can go spend three to five dollars, like ridiculous, if you wanted to go that much money. I don't think, I think you can even do less than three dollars. So there's four dollars that you spent. Go get a dollar or two dollars worth of uh, the canned uh, refried beans that are on sale and then the canned olives. So there's four, five, seven bucks. Uh, go get a bunch of green onions and go buy a tomato. You are going to spend way less than you are. So $12.99 for this tray. Or go get your own stuff, make your own tray. You're spending less. So you see how that works? Much cheaper to go the other option. Uh, artichoke dip, spinach dip, stuff like that. $3.99 a tub. I have no idea. Is that a good price? I think if you go and buy the, the seasoning packet and you get a dollar tub of sour cream, you probably are gonna beat that price. Single layer cake, five bucks. Go down the bakery aisle and buy yourself a box in a box. Because, well, that's not, I personally think their cakes taste like blech. So I don't know, um, maybe it's a good price. Applesauce, $2.29. Check out your dollar store and Walmart and Winco. Granola bars, $3.49. That's not a terrible price. String cheese, seven sixty nine. I will go check out Winco and Walmart. It is a family size, but I think it was more or less over there. And then they've got more stuff for Halloween and more alcohol. Um, and that's it. Okay, I probably talked you guys' ears off. So there you go. That is the Albertsons ad. This one will run through Tuesday. Today is Friday, the twenty second. So you've got until Tuesday, the twenty sixth. I think it is to get your shopping done. And then on the next Wednesday, it starts all over again. So, all right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. That's Albertsons. Enjoy. Enjoy.